Hey guys, M here from Transformers and Video Games, and welcome back to the channel. I've had an awesome weekend of garage sale hunting, resulting in my largest garage sale video game haul so far. So grab yourself a frosty beverage, sit back, and enjoy the video. Okay guys, before I get into my pickups, I just want to put this in context a little bit. I don't live in an area that seems to be very active when it comes to garage sales. I'm going to say my best day last summer, I might have found 25 garage sales one day. And quite honestly, that doesn't happen very often for me. I mean, it could be that I'm looking in the wrong places, I, I don't know. But um, this particular day, I went out on the Saturday, it had been raining all day. so. I knew there weren't going to be that many garage sales, but I thought I'd go out anyways, just because I thought if there was things that I was interested in at the garage sales that were that were open, uh, I'd have a lot less competition just because I thought that the weather might keep some of the sharks away. So now that we've got that out of the way, I'm going to get into the pickups. All right, so the very first garage sale that I hit, I ended up getting lucky. Uh, I parked my car, walked up to the driveway, uh, had a look around, you know, it was the usual household items. There was plates, cutlery, salt and pepper shakers. Uh, I made a little bit of chit chat with the woman there that was uh, keeping an eye on things. Um, she asked what I was looking for. I said video games and she said to me, you know, no, it's just me and my husband here. We don't have anything like that. Um, and I said, you know, I'm even looking for old video games, uh, you know, Nintendo, Game Boy, Sega, TurboGrafx-16, all that stuff. I said, you know, do you have any of that that you might be interested in selling? And she said to me, she thought a minute and said, you know, my husband just has a Nintendo and a Sega. So naturally, I assumed it was the original Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Master System. So I got excited and said to her, is there any chance uh, your husband's willing to sell any of that stuff? So she said, hang on a second. I'm going to go in the house and I'll ask him. So... She came outside and said, my, my husband uh, has the games. He's, uh, he's getting them right now. Go on in. He's in the basement. So I make my way down the stairs. He's behind the bar, reaching out above into these sections above the bar, pulling out boxes of like paperwork and games and boxes and stuff like that. So I started getting really excited. Uh, I'm going to start off by showing the Sega related items. So I assumed it was a Sega Master System that she was referring to, but it was actually a Model 1 Genesis, which is actually my favorite uh, Sega Genesis. I like it a lot better than the other two that we got uh, in North America. So I got that. Um, it came with the RF switch and AC adapter, which is nice because uh, for whatever reason, I don't find those very often thrifting. Um, and I got uh, two of the three button controllers, which is nice. So a complete Sega Genesis. Then there was some boxed games. Now I'm not going to open these up. Just take my word. These are boxed complete. Um, the first one is John Madden football. I'm not too big on sports games, but for something like this, I'll take them. Uh, Tommy Lasorda baseball. Evander Holyfield the real deal boxing, which I actually have loose. Uh, so now I've got a box complete version. Thunder Force 2. And the last game is actually one that I've been looking for for a while, just I never found one for the right price. Altered Beast. Uh, this was always a good game. I remember playing this in the arcade. I'm assuming that the Genesis version will be respectable. Uh, next, we're going to get into the Nintendo-related stuff, so give me a second. All right, so I've rounded up all the Nintendo stuff here. I'm going to try to move along pretty quickly. Uh, I got the control deck here. Came with the gray zapper. The control deck and zapper instructions. AV cables. Two controllers that look to be in very good condition. They're not yellowed or there's no um, crusty stuff from somebody's hands after 30 years. Um, I got the AC adapter and the RF switch as well. And uh, I got the 
NES Advantage controller, and I also got the instructions that go with it, so that's pretty sweet. Now we'll move along to the games. Okay, so when it comes to the games, all of them except for one came in cases that look like this. And anybody that's not familiar with these official Nintendo carrying cases, they hold 15 games. Now, unfortunately, the first one that I've got in my hands right now is empty. So I'm going to move along to the next one here. This is actually full of games, this one. So I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to try to quickly show you the titles. Uh, one thing I'm going to mention right now is that um, each of these games comes with their instructions and the black um, dust cover, which is nice. Unfortunately, no boxes for these ones. Uh, first, we've got RC Pro-Am, which is a really fun game, of course. Next, Tetris, which is a real classic. Millipede. We've got Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. And uh, the cool thing with Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I already said that all of them uh, come with their instruction books. Uh, but the cool thing with this one is that it comes with this insert as well, which I'm going to quickly open up and show you. I actually didn't know that this existed. Uh, my copy of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, I had bought used back in the day. So it didn't, uh, it didn't come with this. So I'm just going to show that quickly. I think that's very cool that it comes with this. So uh, there's that. Ice Hockey, which was actually in the Nintendo. Donkey Kong Classics, which of course includes Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong Jr. The Legend of Zelda, classic game. Uh, nice thing about the Zelda one is that, uh, of course, again, it comes with the instructions, like I said, but it also comes with uh, maps and strategies. Uh, I didn't have this, I don't think, for my other copy of the game, so I've got it now. Rad Racer. Pingbot. Blades of Steel. Cool thing about this game, I used to play this with my older brother at the time. And I remember what I used to like to do is get a good enough lead on him. And uh, maybe after three or four goals, I would start going after him just to beat him up. So that was always fun. And of course, in that game, uh, the person that lost the fight ended up getting the penalty, which was always cool. Uh, Paperboy, which is a game that I've actually been looking for for the right price for a little while. So now I have that. Vegas Dream is not one that I was looking for, but it's one that I didn't have, so that's a nice one to add to the collection. Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Super Mario Brothers 2. Super Mario Brothers 3. And that's it for these games here. Uh, I did have, uh, it, uh, I did get one actually that was in the box. Uh, Greg Norman Golf Power, which I don't think I'll ever play, but it's just cool to have uh, another boxed NES game. Unfortunately, this one was opened up from the bottom and not very nicely, so um, and that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. It's still a boxed game, so I'll happily take it. Okay, so one last thing that I got at this garage sale. The guy asked me if I wanted this stuff. Uh, it's all the little inserts that came with games and systems and that sort of thing. So I said, I'll, I'll happily take them if he wants to throw them in. So he threw in all this stuff. Uh, this would be posters that advertise games, upcoming games and stuff like that. I've got these, um, some kind of a letter that looks like you, you got this with your subscription to Nintendo Power, which is neat. Uh, some other insert. Uh, a Sega Genesis advertisement or poster. Game Player Nintendo Buyer's Guide magazine. And I'm just looking at the back here. They're advertising Rampage, which was a fun game. Uh, by Data East. I guess that's uh, probably the Nintendo version. Another poster. Here's a little uh, Sega magazine. A free poster inside. 
Super Mario Bros. 2 Strategy Guide. Uh, Nintendo Power. Um, I don't see where it tells you the issue number. Uh, July, August 1989. This one has Mega Man 2. And the cool thing is these magazines are all in really nice shape. I've never heard of Nintendo Power Flash. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they threw that in with your subscription. But uh, that's a very classic picture there of the kid with the uh, power glove. And here's another uh, issue of it as well. Okay, before I move on to the next garage sale, I, and before I forget, I was going to mention what I paid for everything. So when I saw all this stuff, I asked the guy, I said, yeah, I'm interested in all of it. How much do you want for everything? And of course, he put the ball on my court. He said, how much do you want to pay me for it? And I mean, I don't know. I want to get the stuff as cheap as possible. And I want to start the, the negotiation lower because I always find that anytime I make an offer, people just automatically, you know, add X number of dollars onto it. So just to get the ball rolling and throw a number out, I said... How about 50 bucks? And uh, he leapt at the offer, and that was that. Shook hands, uh, rounded up all the stuff, and moved on. So from there, I hit my next garage sale, which was actually uh, very close to my house, even closer than this garage sale. Um, right here, we've got Super Mario Brothers All Stars, and you can see that sticker on there is one Canadian dollar. So that's what they had. That's what I paid for it. Uh, wasn't even going to bother trying to haggle on that one. I asked the lady, do you have any other video games? I did the same thing. I was naming the systems. Uh, she said, nope, just that one game. So uh, yeah, obviously I took it. Uh, next we'll move on. Let me just grab my next stack of things. I've still got more retro games to show you, but I want to go in order of, uh, of how I actually picked these up. So uh, my next stop, I got lucky again. Uh, this was with some more modern games. Um, so we'll start off with this here. This is, of course, the Guitar Hero Aerosmith edition for the Wii. And I'm hoping I got at least most of that in my shot there. Sorry if I didn't. Um, this is box complete. It's got the game in the box. Of course, the guitar instructions and it even comes with a bunch of these unused stickers I guess that you could stick on the guitar. I like my stuff to be as complete as possible so um, while I don't go crazy about that stuff it's nice that uh, it's about as complete as you can get. Uh, for the Wii I got Transformers the game. I don't think I had that and of course I'm a huge Transformers fan so that's a must-have for my collection. Uh, I need this game like I need a hole in the head but, uh, well, it's not really a game. Wii Fit Plus. Uh, I don't have it. I've got the regular Wii Fit. My wife had bought it uh, when the system came out. So I've got my original copy. This is one I don't have. And I, I think it actually goes for a couple of bucks compared to the other one that you, you can't really give away. So uh, I've got that uh, for the Xbox 360. And sorry, before I go any further, all of these games are box complete. Um and the discs are in immaculate condition. So we've got Spider-Man 3 for the Xbox 360. Uh, we've got Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Uh, Tony Hawk Ride. And of course that wouldn't be complete without the uh, Tony Hawk Ride uh, skateboard. So that came with it. I can imagine what somebody would have paid for that bundle back in the day. Um, I'm sure it was a lot more than a dollar. Uh, Medal of Honor. Skate, which I don't believe is compatible with the board. Need for Speed Pro Street. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A Viking Battle for As Asgard. Something like that. Call of Juarez, which I don't have yet, although I know my buddy Joe from My Life in Collecting uh, picked this up recently, so that's cool. And uh, Star Wars Forced Unleashed 2. So I actually only recently got into buying Xbox 360 games. Um, because I got one cheap at a thrift shop uh, several months ago. So 
if I can find the games for the right price, I'll buy them. Uh, I'm not going crazy about it or anything like that. I actually started with uh, Xbox exclusives, and now I'm just moving on to other games that I've heard are good that I can find for cheap at garage sales. So that's it for that garage sale. Again, I paid $12 for all that stuff. Okay guys, time to move along to my pickups from my last successful garage sale of the day. For starters, I got these AV cables for a PS1, which is also compatible with a PS2 and PS3. Only reason I say a PS1 is because I also got a couple of PS1 controllers. Here's two of them right here, and a third one. So three PS1 controllers, which uh, I'm gonna say they're worth about five bucks each. Uh, of course, if you go into Value Village, they're charging $10 each, which is outrageous. Uh, I got the receiver for the uh, Super Scope for the Super Nintendo, which I didn't have. Uh, I don't have the Super Scope itself, but I'm certainly not uh, dying to get one of those. Next, I got a Nintendo 64. Uh, that's complete with the um, power source, which is nice. And I believe I've got AV cables here somewhere. Uh, as far as controllers go, uh, here's a gray first party controller. Uh, here's a black, uh, it says Super 64, so that's a third party one obviously. Another black first party controller. And uh, we've got a translucent blue. Uh, third-party Super 64 controller. I don't have any of these funky uh, color variants, but again, it's not first party, so um, I mean as long as it works, of course, I can use it or sell it or whatever, but uh, not particularly collectible. Now we'll move along to the games. Uh, I've got the uh, Game Shark Pro. Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Perfect Dark, and I should mention that the N64 also has the, uh, uh, what is it called, the, uh, the jumper in there so that I can play uh, Perfect Dark and uh, uh, Zelda Majora's Mask and that sort of thing. Uh, Destruction Derby 64, Double O Seven Goldeneye, which I already have. Mario Kart 64, and this was actually stuck in the system uh, when she brought it out in the box. Golden Nugget. And last but definitely not least, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, this game I actually didn't even know I had in the box uh, until I got home. I literally um, pulled everything out, went through everything quickly, and anybody that uh, that does this sort of thing and goes to garage sales looking for stuff knows the pressure that you're under because at any time somebody else can show up asking for games and then all of a sudden you've either got to compete or, or bid with another guy against something that you just didn't have competition for a few minutes earlier. So in this case, uh, I asked the woman what she wanted for everything. Of course, she put the ball in my court. And uh, again, I didn't see the Super Smash Brothers, but I did see the... Um, Mario Kart 64 in there. So I thought, I want to make an offer where I know I can easily get my money back, at least based on that game. Uh, I offered her, uh, as a starting offer, I said, uh, how does $25 grab you? She thought about it for a minute and said, uh, if you make it $30, you've got a deal. And I mean, I couldn't believe it. Again, that was a starting point. I thought she might come at me higher. She didn't, uh, or at least not much higher. So obviously I jumped at the opportunity to get all that stuff for $30. All right, guys. Well, I went a little long this time, but I'm going to leave it at that for today. I spent a total of $93 uh, on all of these pickups. I, I really couldn't be happier with the, uh, with the purchases and with that price. Uh, this is actually my second video games pickups video on the channel. Uh, the first one I think I did, I think it was my third video on the channel. And... Um, it didn't get a lot of views. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because the channel was really new then. I mean, I think I had something like 20 subscribers uh, or if it's more to do with the fact that 
Uh, I think most of my viewers are actually the uh, from the Transformers side of the house as opposed to the video games uh, sort of side of my collecting hobby. So um, uh, one question I was going to ask though, uh, this is the first time I've done, uh, uh, since I've only done two videos like this, uh, this is the first time I've done one in front of the camera. The previous video that I did was uh, just my hands in front of the camera. Uh, just curious to know what people prefer. I can definitely go back to the other way of doing it if you just want to see a close-up of the games in my hands. I thought that people might find this a little bit more interesting. Um, but again, it's up to you guys as the viewers. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you've got any comments about any of the games here, I'm not familiar with every single one of them. So if you've got any comments, uh, good or bad, about any of this stuff, uh, leave me a uh, comment in the comment section. Anyways, thanks again, everybody. Take care. All right, guys, just as a little bonus here for anybody that likes to watch my videos right to the end, when I was going through the box after shooting my pickups video, I actually found this piece of paper here, and it has a number written on it. And without checking Google, I'm just wondering if anybody knows what it is or the significance of it. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you do.